Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Empowerment with Elizabeth. Today I am here with my sweet new friend Brenna and she is going to talk to us about her dance journey and being on Ohio State's dance team. So Brenna, tell us a little bit about yourself. Yeah, so my name is Brenna Bosick. Um, I'm originally from Knoxville, Tennessee, where I grew up since I was, I haven't moved once. So I'm originally from Knoxville and um, then decided to move to Ohio State um, up in Columbus um, during my senior year when I got recruited to be on the dance team. Um, I have one sister and my dad is at home and I'm currently majoring in exercise science and minoring in disability studies. So I'm looking to go to OT school next fall um, for occupational therapy. So probably doing that back down in Knoxville in Tennessee. Um, yeah. I love it. I love it. You're not far from me. That's so funny. I'm in Oxford, Mississippi. So not super far. Um, but talk about your dance journey. You know, when did you start? Where did you start? Did you do studio? Did you do a dance team? Kind of walk us through that and then how it got you to where you are now. Yeah. So I sort of did everything at home. Dance team is huge in Knoxville. So I started dancing when I was two at Revolution Dance Studio, which is my home studio back home. Um, so I started when I was two there and then starting seventh grade, I joined my middle school team at Farragut. Um, we did UDAs, we did the competitions and everything like that. So um, from then on, I went on to the high school team and then, yeah, now I'm here at Ohio State. I love it. I love it. So talk about, you know, why you decided on Ohio State. It's obviously far from you or where your hometown was. So mm-hmm. why Ohio State? Um, you know, what made you choose that team over, you know, college XYZ? Yeah, so I... Had a fam- my family is sort of long line of Buckeyes. I've had some aunts and uncles that went here. So I always had Ohio State on my back burner just for schooling options, even besides just dance teams. So um, once I started researching about college and college dance teams, they were obviously at the top of the list. So um, I attended my first clinic. I think it was my sophomore year of high school. And I really just fell in love instantly. I know I'm sure everyone says that, but it was just, it felt like home and the coaches were really just so sweet. And the team just made such a great effort to talk to me and to build connections. So from then on, I was pretty set. I mean, I went to other colleges and did the whole UDA combine, tribe combine, all that stuff. So um, I obviously went around and made sure it was truly the right fit in every college. It was, just, it was so much far ahead and I just really felt like home. So I got recruited. Um, she, Melissa, our head coach, would come to our practices on my high school team. So I sort of met her through that. And then, as you know, we just keep making connections and keep talking. So then I got my offer a few weeks before nationals my senior year. So in January of 2020. That's so exciting. That's so exciting. And talk to us, you know, about once you were recruited or I guess before you were recruited, what your prep looked like whenever you were, you know, kind of scoping out Ohio State and thinking that that was where you were wanting to go. Yeah. So Ohio State is fully a recruitment model. So it's all through video. um, But the best way to get out of just a video is to come to the clinics. So Mm -hmm. I did clinics again, starting sophomore year. I did as many as I could just because I loved coming up here. I love dancing with the girls, but I also just loved learning. Um, dance is such like a great sport to learn and also to train at the same time. So I did all the clinics I could. I came up here as much as I could. Um, and then again, just bu- building those connections is really where I shine. It was just a lot of, they want you on your team, but you also want to be a part of the team at the same time. So always building a great relationship with the coach is what I really tried to do. And that's what helped me get on the team. Absolutely. Absolutely. And you guys just came off an awesome win, um, which it was so fun to watch you guys. So congratulations, but talk to us, you know, about what a typical UDA nationals practice looks like leading up to it. Yeah, so I say they're all pretty similar. This all four years have been like obviously a little different. We had COVID the first year and every year since then it's just been like rebounding from that competition. So um, this year we started a lot earlier with our dances. We actually learned our palm routine the first week of school. So in August, we had known that for a while. Yeah, and then we learned jazz, I think September-ish. So we started pretty early this year. We were doing a lot more full runs than normal. Um, So I'd say whenever we get to like the rut of like full nationals practices, it's, they're long days. We usually do two a day. So we have like, two, three or four hour practices with like a little break in between. Um, But yeah, usually we come in and always warm up and everything like that. And then it's usually three hours of cleaning palm. Then we'll switch to jazz for second practice. And then this year we had game day too. So we would practice with our cheer team and our mascot all the time. Um, So we would have like extra practice add on to that. So it's a full day, but usually school is over by then whenever it's like fully nationals go time in December. So we just dance all day and we love it. Yeah. Yeah, I love it. Um, So talk about, you know, your least favorite and your most favorite parts about being a collegiate dancer and start with your least favorite. Okay, well, that's a good question. Um, I'd say there's so many great benefits, obviously, being a student athlete, but it is so hard balancing a full, we have probably 30 hour weeks. So it is pretty much a full-time job without getting any sort of pay, unless you're like obviously in the NIL area, but it is a full-time job and it's hard to get recognition for that and for people to understand what dance truly is. I know we had 
some of our friends come to our national send off and they were like, you guys train all year for two minutes on stage. We're like, yeah, it's really hard to explain. And it's <laughs> you're really like, when you put it like that, yeah, I, mean, I, know. I guess <laughs> <laughs> a lot of pressure to it, but yeah. So it's definitely, it's, there's a lot of benefits, but I would say like just bouncing everything out. We have such great resources here. We have support staff that help us with lifting, with school, with advising, anything like that. We have a sports psychologist who's just really helped us all the time. So we have a lot of resources in that area, but balancing everything is definitely a big challenge. Yeah, absolutely. And then talk about your favorite part about being a collegiate dancer. Hmm. Oh, there's so many. I'd say like specifically for our team, our team is just so close. We all choose to live with each other after our freshman year. We all live on the exact same street. We have like four houses next to each other. So our team is just the closest team I've ever been a part of. And it's crazy. Our coach always says like, I choose your 22 best friends, but she really does. She does a great job of like finding girls from all around the country and just knows that we're all going to work well together. So this year, like it was the closest team I've ever been on. We're all like best friends from freshman to senior. So I think just the network you build when you come here, especially at Ohio State is just so amazing. We have alumni who love us. We have our teammates who love us, obviously, and our coaches, but it's just so much bigger than yourself. And it's the best thing ever. And like you mentioned, you know, you guys just came back from nationals. So talk to us about what your backstage ritual looks like, both as a team and then also you individually. Yeah. So our coach is big on, our team is very different. We have totally different girls. So um, some of us are like really hype, like jumping around all the things. And then there's people like me who I need to be like in my own space. It's quiet. Like <laughs> phones in, I cannot be like so wild and outgoing. I know it was like my fresh or sophomore year, we had a send off and it was like, I was trying to like be so hype. And I was like, this is not working. And then we had a bad performance and she's like, you got to make sure you know what you want to do before your routines and to make you sure you're in the right headspace. So for me, it's like, before we go to like the warm up mat at UDA, I'm usually like in my zone, like to myself, listening to music. Um, then when we get backstage, like it's go time. We're like, we're in it as a group. We always on the warm up mat, we always, we'll do a section and like, we always pull it in right away. And our coach always says, take a deep breath. And then we go again and keep going on through our warm up. So our warm is always structured. The best thing about our team is everything is so structured. So we have everything planned out to a T. Um, so you know exactly what you're doing from the minute you walk into the warm-up room. So we pull in, we take our breath, and we keep moving on through our sections. And then once we're backstage, ready to go on the floor, our coaches always like huddle up, keep our eyes in our circle, no matter who's around. Um, and they're just so great at motivating us. I mean, we go through the whole year together, so they know exactly what to say, and it's it's perfect every time. So then they leave, and then it's just us, and we keep it in our circle. We always talk, and it's usually emotional. It's usually really motivating, and then we line up to go and it's, we always say like two minutes of your life, it's this full run you're about to do. So that's, yeah, that's really it. Yeah. I love it. I love it. And then our final question, if you could give one piece of advice to a girl who is, you know, wanting to be recruited for Ohio State's dance team this upcoming year, what would it be? Mm, that's a great question. I feel like we get asked that a lot. Just what is like the number one thing you get? So I think a lot of times, especially right now, it's like all about what tricks do I need or what, what's this, what's that? But I think one of the biggest pieces of advice that I've been given, like I do lessons and stuff like that with girls back at home. And I always say like, find something that you really want to capitalize on when you're like at a clinic or something like that. So I always say Palm is such a great space because it's so new for so many people and they've never done Palm until they come to a clinic. So I say like, if you put yourself out there, you may not get the combo perfectly, but if you're just putting yourself out there, put yourself in the front and mess up, but you're going for a hundred percent and you're doing like, we always talk about the little things like picking up your feet or getting lower. Like if you're doing those little things better than everyone else, you're going to stand out. So I think that's often overlooked is yes, you want to stand in the front, but if you're not as comfortable, like still get yourself up there. Um, and then always just build connections. You know, like it's a team that you're going to be on for four years. You don't want to like come on the team and not know anyone. So by the time I had been recruited and gotten our spot, when we got here in August. Like I had known everyone in my grade, knew everyone on the team. Like we were already connected from the moment I stepped on campus. So I think at the clinic, like you never know who your teammates are going to be the next year, or who you're going to be with for the next four. So always build those connections with teammates and also the girls around you. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. That's great advice. Well, thank you so much, Brenna, for coming on and, you know, chatting with us about your dance journey and your experience at Ohio State and, um, you know, all your great advice. Thank you so much. That was great. Of course. course. And I will see the rest of you guys on our next episode. Bye, y'all.